Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, H-Town Theater World. It's your girl Denise right here, and we're gonna talk about Fiddler on the Roof. Now, Fiddler on the Roof is a very classic Broadway show that became a standard. Now, it was first came out in 1964, so that's how old the show is. This show is about a Jewish family in Ukraine in the 1900s, so kind of before, maybe around the Great Depression, be definitely before the 1930s and 40s. And it's about a family, a father who is a poor milkman struggling to make ends meet while his wife is trying to keep the house well up and status, and he also has five daughters. So he has to get them married off. He has to make sure he has enough money for a dowry, and he has to make sure that they marry someone that has been matched by a matchmaker. So that's the story. Now, one of the most famous songs in that whole entire show is, If I Were a Rich Man, and I'm not gonna sing the next rest of that song, because I do not do that song justice. The man who plays uh, Tevya, that's the lead actor, he's the father and the head of the household. His name is Ezekiel Lazarovo, Zarvo, and I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name. He does a great job as Tevya does his own unique way of that character. And he does a great job. He has little comic bits here and there. And then he's very stern when he needs to be. Now, the other actors are just as good. His counterpart, Mate Yuzel, who plays Goldie, his wife. She does a great job of playing a, wo a woman in a Jewish family. Very traditional. <laughs> Tradition. That's like the opening number, by the way. And she does a great job at it. She keeps it very stern and focused in that. Everyone else does a great job. So the story goes into how the daughters get married off and what happens to the family. I'm not going to say any spoilers at all. I will go into a bit of a tangent right now. So please go ahead. And if you want to skip this, I'll post the... Um, time of when you can skip it below and then we'll get, and that will be when we get back to the story so well first time and last time i saw filler on the roof i was in the sixth grade middle school reading fleming middle school and it was my first ever musical uh production that i was a part of i was part of the stage crew i actually did the lighting and helped with that so i would be doing the switches to make it like green or more blue or they're all the way up or they're all the way down or they're halfway so that was my job for that show and i loved it i actually did get sick so all the in-school productions that we did like we would have uh classes uh like have like a brief recess from their regular schoolwork come to the auditorium and they would see our production i was out sick those days but I did come in after school to do the job and I would just rest. And the teachers for that uh, musical, they actually told me when I saw them in high school, like, oh my God, Denise, we love you. We loved your dedication. I love telling the story of how you were sick and you just went to it. And do you mind if I keep telling it? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I don't really care. But anyway, we went on with the show. And I had a great time doing it. I had a lot of props. We had so many props. I couldn't believe how many props were in that production. And then when I, and then of course, when I saw this production, the tour, there were a lot of props too. So it was completely understandable. Now, I also saw 
the movie version during that time. And that's when I was like, okay, I saw it with one of my church friends because we were both going to audition with the song Matchmaker, which we're going back to the show now. This is a timestamp. Welcome back. I'm done with my tangent about that, which is the daughter's song singing about how they want the matchmaker to find them a match to marry. That is what they want. Now, unfortunately, a lot of things happen that is not part of tradition. Like, the papas are supposed to dictate everything. They have the final word. The mamas take care of the household and everything. The daughters are just, not necessarily just there, but they follow what the mother does. They make sure that they do all their chores. Now then the sons kind of follow in the father's footsteps, either go into the business or they learn about um, the religion, which is which is uh, Judaism. One of the key things about this show that's kind of unique is that it's one of the very few Broadway shows that breaks the fourth wall. And when I mean it breaks the fourth wall, it doesn't necessarily talk to the audience, but it talks to, talks to God. So Tevia talks to God, which kind of lets the audience in. So is it really the third, fourth wall? Maybe it's the third wall. I'm not really sure. But anyway, this show was great. It was a Broadway tour done at the Hobby Center for Performing Arts. It was only here for one week. Uh, some people thought it was for two weeks. Nope. It was here for one week, and then it's going on to the next show. Now, what's unique about this sh um, this production, after the final bow, uh, the actors, uh, Tevia, decided to read a speech about their position on the war in Ukraine with Russia. And I did post that video on this channel, so the link is below. It is a short, it is a video short, or you can go to my Instagram feed and I have it there as well. And like I said, this was a great show. It's a very long show. So if you want to go through a very long show, Filled on the Roof is for you. It keeps you interested, which is good, but it is very long. It is very tedious in some points, just a little bit, just a little bit, but it's still a good show. And I highly recommend it, and I hope to see you in a lot of local community theaters, a lot of schools will do this show because it is technically safe to do, and it's very easy to get a lot of money behind, and no one can go wrong with this show. And I hope to see you at the next one. I believe that will be Jersey Boys next coming up, but please continue to like this, like this video subscribe down below and hit that bell to get notified when I do my next video. And I hope to see you guys at the show.